January 1991, Operation Desert Storm. Colonel Cesar Rodriguez tries to avoid being shot down by an Iraqi MiG-29. We assumed that this guy was the biggest, baddest dude on the block, and we had to be on our number one A game to beat them. The incoming MiG is just seconds away from blowing Rodriguez out of the sky. The MiG's radar can see me, and so I go strictly into the defensive mode. Rodriguez banks left and dives down fast. If he can confuse the MiG's radar, he might have a fighting chance. MiG-29 radar is meant to look into a blue sky where there's very little clutter. So I want to force his radar to look down into the ground environment. And now the radar has got to recalculate the math to deliver a weapon. Rodriguez must escape the Iraqi MiG's deadly grasp or risk losing everything. I'm in 100% survival mode because the enemy's locked all onto my airplane. That's as vulnerable as you get in the air-to-air -air dogfight. Unless his wingman acts quickly, Rodriguez doesn't have a chance. At that point, I am in the pure defensive mode, and now I turn it over to my wingman, who is about three miles behind me. He sees the same thing that I see. He locks the lead MiG and then takes a, a shot with his AIM-7. Seconds later, Rodriguez's wingman's heat-seeking AIM-7 missile reaches the MiG. The end result was we had one MiG down. Splash one is the radio call that I made. Splash! Splash coming out westbound! And now we're trying to figure out what's next. What's next is more trouble. The E-3 AWACS alerts Rodriguez to another MiG-29 just 10 miles away. This time, Rodriguez and his wingman won't be caught off guard. We have two options. We can turn south and run away, or we can turn north and fight our way through that MiG. And the option that I selected was to fight our way through that MiG. Rodriguez and the MiG face off in an intense aerial spiral, chasing each other's tails. Suddenly, the MiG-29 flies down toward the desert floor, trying to outmaneuver the F-15's radar. At that point, I suspect that the MiG felt that uh, I could either be coming in for a gunshot or I could be getting ready to hit him with a missile. Rodriguez watches the MiG take a hard turn back up, but it's too late to escape the momentum down. You can see his afterburners are cooking. You know, he's trying to do everything he can to bring the nose of his airplane through the horizon, but it doesn't happen. He put himself in a no-win solution, which ultimately translated into a fireball on the ground. It wasn't until after the final engagement that I started to reflect on, wow, what just happened? Because I knew I was within seconds of, of being uh, a casualty.